It was his birthday, and the only present he wanted was all of the Philadelphia Jews. So anyhow, I went. Beautiful home. Oh, what a home. I don't know how many rooms there was. And everybody was telling me, they were showing the film, oh, what was it? Dry Bones. Dry Bones, yeah. And Debbie came over to me and started talking about it. I said, Debbie, I know who Jesus is. I saw him. Because I was in the camps. I saw Jesus with the whip. Oh no, that's not him, that's not the Lord. Anyhow, the men of the house came over and he said, do you mind if I read some of the Bible verses and pray? Because I don't care if you stand on your head. What do you tell a millionaire? Come on, I and he started praying. And I don't know when, I don't know how, I know who. I bowed my head, I closed my eyes. And that's when I said, yes, Lord. And I think that was the best decision I made. Out of all the decisions I had to make in my life. And the Lord became my Lord. And then when, when uh, Titus, the Roman general, came back, he besieged it and then squashed it, crushed it, burned it, and took that temple apart stone by stone. So that